Now back to your favorites. Let me see what you can do. AMO, euphonizing the stray dogs of deceit. Welcome back. Hello. We are here today on location down at Buckingham Palace. Mm -hmm. uh, today marks the funeral of Queen Elizabeth II. Uh, she was a great queen. She was a very she great was a wonderful queen. queen. Uh, just shows what sovereignty can mean to a nation and how much it can hurt when it's taken away. Smallest execution count as well. Mm. It wasn't none. No. Okay. But she still had a very small amount of... Uh, Legalized executions. They were so. mainly small woodland animals, so. Well, those and um, the occasional commoner. Commoner. It's been a it's a difficult day for everyone, of course, today. So Prince the, Philip, the especially, funeral. yes. Absolutely. He, I imagine this is hitting him harder than anyone, really, which is, is sad. They were together for so long. Yes, well, to help him through the green process, it's actually being allowed for people to black up uh, today. Yeah, so I'm sat here dressed as a minstrel, I think. Yeah. I hope that you, that came through. It, well, it did to me. I'm not sure the listeners, uh, if it came through to them, but... Uh, I, I am can, I allowed to put on a voice? I think a voice might be going too far, I perhaps. Think, okay. I don't know. You'd have to ask Prince Philip. So, yeah, to anyone wanting to, sh to pay their respects and help Prince Philip through this grieving process, please um, go get some boot polish, go get some cocoa powder, just lather yourself in it, and really make this day for him. But as you can see now, the crowds are gathering... Yes. It's, uh, it's packed now. The police have got it all cordoned off. People are laying flowers. There's mm. flags. Yeah. Death masks. Well, pound, they're not proper death masks. Um, some of them are paper mache. They've been made by the uh, infant school down the road. So they've been designing them this mm. week. Bold use of glitter. Yes. But bless them for trying. Yeah. I can see there in the crowd someone carrying a, a, an England flag as in the Red Cross on white, except uh, they've sown tears onto the flag. Uh, I, I guess as a sign of uh, the mourning of a, of a country. They're handing out commemorative coins as yes, well. Yes, yes, there's a newly minted £2 coin. Have you had one yet? Uh, no, I haven't, actually. Well, I've, I've got one right here. I mean, if you have a look at that on the front, we've got Sandringham House. With a mm. If you look very closely, the flag is at half-mast. And on the yeah. back, it's the standard profile of the Queen, but... But look at look closer. Do you notice anything about her facial expression that's different? Yes, there's something in her eyes, isn't there? Yes. Well, this this coin depicts the exact moment of renal failure. Wow. Yeah. So that's a very bold choice to make, mm. and uh, it really does. Um, I can buy a coke with it. Jacket potato and chips. Yeah. Thank you, Your Majesty. She was a river to her people. Her renal failure will forever be engraved into the jingle jangle of slot machine fodder. Yeah. This is a grand display of affection and approval for a woman who really got us through some tough times. Mm. I mean, do you remember the uh, Preston Milk riots? Yeah. She was there, rubber gloves, marigolds, wiping away the calcium. Yeah. That's just one of the many examples of her charity work. Landmines, she sent Diana to sort those. That failed, but then she got the car. Mm. Well, yeah, that, like you say, eventually... You try enough times, you're going to get it right. There's a, They're handing out special postcards with her portrait on, obviously painted by Rolf Harris, now a convicted paedophile. They could have chosen better. I think a commemorative Damien Hirst postcard would have been good if we sliced her up and stuck her in a block of gelatin. Mm, perhaps. Yeah, but it's, it's nice to see down, if you see down on the steps there, there's all religions, there's, there's no... Friction, there's no separation there. We've got yeah. Jesuit priests, we've got rabbis, we've got. There's the Archbishop of Canterbury mm. on his Sedgeway, well done. Travelled all the way for charity. Yes. Well, on the subject of religion, Jake, yes. uh, while we're waiting for the royals to arrive, because they're, they're not here yet, but they will be soon, hopefully, um, yep. I should just say that uh, I have converted to uh, religion. Just religion. Oh, any All religions. All religions. Yes. Oh, I see. Well, you see, I, I, I felt a, a spiritual yearning to join a religion, but having checked out several of them, uh, you know, flicking through some of the holy books, I realised that actually 
I couldn't pick any one religion. You know, I couldn't decide. Right. So I just went for all of them. Okay. So I, I'm sort of a mixture of everything. As opposed to, say, uh, a main course, you're more a buffet of belief. If you like. I do like. Yes. Are you going to whittle it down to one, or are you just going to take the best of everything? Um, whatever sits right, I think, with me, personally, you know, because at the end of the day, that's what it's about. It's, it's about whether you, the universe guides you. Really. Okay. Um, is it, you know, is it going I get well? out of bed in the morning, and I think, oh, I'll go and make breakfast in the kitchen, but then the universe tells me to brush my teeth first, or I something see. like that. So, is there any one religion right now that you're... How does this work? Well, uh... I practice communion, mm. uh, so I get to drink wine, eat the bread, which represents obviously the body and blood of Christ. And that's breakfast. Well, that that's breakfast. That's bread and, bread and wine. Day. Okay. Uh, no pork. I eat halal meat only. Right. Does your Buddhism not, or did you give that one a miss? Mm, I, no. I, well, I've taken some some Buddhism. Some Buddhism. Yes. I don't drink alcohol, for example. I mean, I do. I should. I should actually clarify this. I do drink alcohol. I just don't drink lager because I don't really like lager that much okay. whereas some of the other alcoholic drinks I do like you do quite enjoy like so, wine and yeah. you, wine is part of communion okay so what exactly do you believe what do I believe yeah if there, is there like a guiding rule to your life right now there's several several oh good yeah several uh, just give us one uh, one okay well basically right whatever I do try and do it for the betterment of mankind, but if I fail, at the end of it, it doesn't matter because when I die, there'll be 700 virgins. So, 700. Yeah, it's a slight uh, increase on the usual amount. But what exactly do you have planned for these 700 virgins? Uh, I, I don't know, but in my head, I'm just thinking we'll have a massive party. A virgin party? Uh, uh, well, I won't be a virgin. Uh, Obviously, I'm uh, not a virgin. Uh, I'm just saying, you know, you they will be, and we'll have a big. Picnic. So, are these virgins uniform? Are they? There's literally. I can only think of two types of virgin. Right? Is there going to be? They're either going to be about five years old, or eighty-nine. Is it a mixed bag? Is it just hags and children, or? Well, I don't know, Jake. To be honest, it's because uh, seven hundred. That's a lot of five-year-olds to hang around with. That's kind of weird. Okay, look. I, as I say, I take certain aspects from different religions. That is from Islam. Okay. And I wear a skull cap. It's underneath my turban. A yarmulke. Yeah, a yarmulke. Oh, it's it's the, under my turban. The now. Jewish. Yeah. Is your head not getting a bit warm right now? Yeah, I've got a few different hats actually. The, the one on balanced on top of my uh, turban is is one that the Amish wear. So like a black, a plain black. Mm. Is this your attempt uh, at the Amish beard? Uh, it was. I obviously thought you fell asleep in your porridge. I didn't um, want to say anything. Oh, okay. Are you, would you describe yourself as a prophet for our times, uniting the world through uh, this hoi polloi of uh, belief? Well, it's interesting you should say that, Jake, because uh, I am actually considering changing my name through the poll to uh, Jesus. Jesus? Yeah, which is Jesus. Oh, what about the Greek gods? I'm talking Jesus. Yeah, well, like, no. that's why I'm going for Jesus rather than ah, Jesus. Ah, it's both words two in one. Very good, very yeah. good. AMO, wiping the lies from the window of the news nudie booth. So, alongside Tom's uh, spiritual awakening, we've also got some good news to counterbalance the sad news of Her Majesty. Uh, we're finally, finally shot of Oscar. Oh, yeah. Oh, well. it's glorious. Ah, oh, just just listen to that. If, if for those who don't, <laughs> let's just enjoy the silence of Oscar not being here. Ah, oh, that's nice. For those of you who don't know, Oscar was our mandated yes. mute co-host, which I still think was a great idea. It was a good oh, initiative. It on was, radio, it had its heart in the right place and its brain down the toilet. That, if that makes is, sense. That is not an idiom I am familiar with. I mean. It must have been, you know, he he's a mute. Yep. He was a mute. He was definitely a mute. I wouldn't like to go into it, but anyway. he was short as well. That, in some ways, is like a religion. So I can relate to that. You can relate to being small, creepy, and weird. No, I can re relate to him being a mute. You know, because he couldn't speak in the same way that I can't eat pork. No, you you wouldn't compare it to like taking a vow of silence. You compare it to eating meat. I feel maybe you're not taking this religion thing quite as seriously. 
which I've now said out loud and realise who I'm talking to. Never mind. I've got a crown of thorns in my bedroom. Of course you do. You're not wearing it now, is it? Uh, no, I've got too many hats today. All right. I alternate. Okay. I don't wear any on Sunday, though. Well, I do wear some on Sunday. It's called Cap. Well, somewhere. really, Oscar, I think, apart from having his etch sketch to tell us what he was thinking, the only thing he really did, apart from get underfoot, was uh, he pressed he pressed the idem button. What? What? Sh- I'm sorry, with the idem button. Yeah. That was Oscar's one job, was it? Where is the idem button? Well, you see this control yeah. panel here. So who's been pressing it? Whose job is it to press it now? Well, we now he's gone. I we... have. You have. I'm not really qualified, but I have. It's just a button, though. Where is it? Is this? AMO, the gloved finger of fact to your news prostate. <laughs> I didn't even know we had that. Yeah. Yeah, we have that. Okay. It's, uh... I'm, I'm just going to press it again. No, okay. AMO, we also do breakfast. <laughs> oh, wow. Attention, everyone. One, one. AMO, if you love us, you'll swallow. Uh, how many of these do we have? Do we have quite a few of these items? It is pretty much our entire back catalogue of oh, items. Yeah. Loads. Hey. AMO, the minefield of knowledge to your Princess Diana of fact checking. AMO. Flapping in the breeze. AMO. Very nearly very good. Well, let, let's, 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 see, let's see what this Come one, on, next no, one is. Don't. AMO. Don't give power to the blacks. Oh, that's wow! one from the archives there. That takes me back. Yeah. 2008 was a backward time, I must say. Yeah. Are you quite done with the, with the item? Yeah, button? yeah. I, 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 that's fine. Let's move on. Let's yes. move on. It's fine. Good. Oh, okay. Well, on our uh, news feed from the uh, funeral. Oh, should I press the thing to uh, go to that? Can I press it, please? Uh, no. What's to go into it? Hold on. I'll press it. For- There we go, now the funeral. Now Carry the on, funeral, thank you. I was just saying that it's time to rise for the national anthem. Oh, sorry. I don't because know. the uh, family have arrived and the hearse is now here, ready to go in. So if we'd all like to rise. Oh, oh wrong one. That's... Hang on. Oh, thank fuck. All right, two minutes. Oh, my God. Oh, these bits. Oh, no. I just play the music and... We just have to wait. No, just, oh my god. It's so, you know, it's one thing talking to you on the show, but I've got nothing to say to you in real life. Well, it's what kind of anthem's this? It's Liechtenstein. It's the same as Liechtenstein. Come on, Britain. Have some originality. Does yeah. it that actually make a difference that hmm? the Queen's dead? I mean, does, is it like a. I know it's a big day and everything. I know. I see why we're covering it, but for goodness sake. Is it really, why cover it on radio? It's. Why, exactly. No one's going to be listening to Listen to the, the sound of the no morning. No one's going to be listening to this now, are they? They're no, going to be watching be it on telly. It, they're either going to be at booking Pass or they're going to be watching it on TV or they're going to be doing something good with their lives. Yeah, just maybe they're just still at work. They might have a minute's silence. Which, look how much that's costing the economy. The only people listening to this now will be blind people. I think they're the only people th- that th- who th- listen th- to radio anyway nowadays. I think they'd be down there feeling the morn. Uh, yeah. they, their senses would be heightened, yeah. Mm. Oh, God, this drags on, doesn't it? It does drag on. I feel like we should be standing up, but then what's the point? Oh, like, no one can see us. God, look at this chair. I'm not getting out of this. I know, where did you get that chair? Ikea. It's amazing. I know. Why did I get the stool? Because, um, one of us is the talent and one of us is the not. <sighs> okay, whatever. Yeah. I can't sit on that anyway, look at it. It's against my religion. Oh, yeah, leather. Oof. Does that anger your inner Hindu? No. No? No, no, I'm peaceful. You're I don't peaceful. Ju- I don't judge others. I just don't engage with certain things myself. Joke. It's, it's part of my philosophy. It's All my right. man it, it's well it's not my ma- it's one of my mantras. Forget I mentioned it. Okay. I will for now. I'll let it slip. Bit late for that, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Mm. Do we have to change it to the king? Come I guess. God, why didn't you save it? Oh, yeah, that's God save the king. I guess. Well, it's yeah, it will be God save the king now. It kind of says a lot about the monarchy, doesn't it? They keep dying. 
think maybe God's abandoned the monarchy. That could that's just a theory, I yeah. guess. But <sighs> uh, there we go, coming to hey. an end. There we go. Welcome Hello. back. Welcome Hello. back. God, are we feeling patriotic right now? That's a good. Uh, it's been a while since I had a good anthem stand. Mm, it's yeah. a wonderful, wonderful song. A very traditional old song that has a lot of deep roots within our nation and within our society. Yeah. Uh, before they, just before the royal family arrive, um, we could just mention the fact that uh, several hundred pheasants have been released. Oh, yes, yes. If anyone's feeling a bit. Yeah, it's all major cities around the Drive UK. Drive slowly. Um, yeah. For people to just bludgeoned to death. They've all been crippled as well. They can't fly. We've clipped their wings. So go out there, grab an umbrella, grab a cosh, and just start whacking away because it's what she would have wanted. Yes. Yeah. Here's the family car coming up right now. So uh, pulling up outside. Oh, William and Kate. Oh, they finally uh, made it. They finally, uh, we weren't sure if they were going to make it here today. Uh, obviously, it is a big day. Uh, but they were spotted earlier today in a lay-by, and we weren't sure, you know, if they, but here they are. It means not the family car he's pulled up in Sword Mondeo, but better, yeah. I suppose, on time in a different car. Oh, and his little Prince George. Uh, well, I mean, it's good news for him, though. Uh, those murder charges have been dropped. Yes, that's true. That's good. Yes. It's a convenient time for those maids to go missing. But, um, mm. well, well done, that man. Yeah. Um, and obviously his uh, little blue rattle has been changed for a black one to mark mm, the occasion. Yeah. Oh, here comes here comes Prince Charles. Um, uh, look at him getting out the car. He's very well dressed as always. Yes, he says. It's my time now. Mm. There's the iPad with the Princess Diana slideshow. Yes, so she's yeah. represented here as well. She's here. And uh, here comes Camilla. She's looking pleased with herself, isn't she? Yes. Oh, didn't have to do too much legwork for that. I think is that everyone? Uh, well. So where's Philip? Where's Philip? I don't. Is he in. No. Oh. There's a, there's a hush that's fallen over the crowd. Where are they? Good God. He's zip lining in. Oh. That's how you do it in style. Wow. That is how you show that respect. Is, that is wonderful. At his age as well. This is impressive. Yeah, he's like, he's like, he's like, uh, family's all here. Um, they're now going to head inside for the traditional eating of the corpse. Indeed. Uh, which is, of course, a very old tradition in this country. Uh, the royal family have done this for years and years, uh, generations and generations past. There's been a lot of speculation this mm -hmm. year for who the celebrity chef is going to be. Well, a lot of people thought it might be um, Jamie Oliver. He got the OBE. Uh, uh, Heston Blumenthal, though, although he's mm. not, strictly speaking, English. So that might be... You know, it's, mm -hmm. she was a progressive queen, so we don't know. That's true. Some people were keen for Gary Rhodes. Uh, but yeah. I'm not, again, not convinced. He hasn't no. done much since the I, 90s. No, he hasn't. Yeah, there's a lot of speculation on the sources as we one of the uh, chefs in the running had mm. to present the sauce. And uh, they might go with the traditional white wine sauce. That's, that's what good. happened for her sister. That's what happened for their father. But uh, I, I personally think Queen Elizabeth might have something different. Okay. Shake things up a little bit. Maybe Ainsley Harriet's Tennessee dipping sauce. Mm. It's an unconventional source for an unconventional queen. What do you think? I I have to agree. I think perhaps something a little different this time yeah. around. Uh, Prince Philip liked things that were brown and sticky, so mm. this is really the ultimate send-off. Oh, I've got to uh, stop you there, Jake, because they're yeah. just outside now. They're bringing out the corgis, uh, oh. the queen's corgis. Uh, of course, they have to die with her. Yeah, much like the Roman Empire. They were her noblest, finest servants, and so, so yes, we're going to go directly live for the corgis and the firing squad. AMO. Award-worthy radio. Okay, well, we're now down on the grounds with the corgis. They're being walked out. The Queen currently owns five, but two have been selected, her longest-serving uh, Monty and Willow, mm -hmm. being escorted to the firing posts by her doggies, the Dachshund, Corgi Cross, uh, Candy, and I think Vulcan. Yes. There okay. they go now, uh, lining them up against the wall. Everyone's offering them a cigarette. Final cigarette, yes. Monty's declined, but Willow's accepted. That's interesting. Here come the blindfolds. Okay. Everyone's waiting with bated breath. And there's the drum roll.
Yes! yes. And they're down. They are down. Got him in one. Oh. Sterling oh, work wow. there. I knew we had those guys in for a reason. Tense moment there and then BAM! Okay. They're going to join them uh, in a few moments in with the uh, eating of the corpse as the starter. Yes. Yep. But I think let's let's just give the royal family a little bit of time to themselves. Now. They've got a. There's not much more we can say. They're indoors. I'm not interested in the people outside. I think you're right, Jake. I think there's little more we can say now until the meal's over and they've finished damming up the last of the Queen's gravy. Let's uh, go over now to the horoscopes. Yes. Can I, should I press the transition button again? Can I do that? Um, since it's seeing as Oscar's not here, I guess. AMO, we have a reputation. Hey! <laughs> uh, let's see what the next one is. Just press the horoscope one, please. Okay, which is the horoscope? AMO, tomorrow belongs to us. Oh, sorry, I hit that one again. Yep. Uh, horoscope is this one, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Welcome to this week's horoscopes. I've missed you. Aries, you silly sausage. There's no monster under your bed. It's just your uncle. And he's far worse than any monster. Taurus. You're going to finally live the rock and roll lifestyle you've always wanted. And then die on the toilet before collapsing in a pool of your own sick. Gemini. Your babysitter is actually your biological mother so you may want to reevaluate some of those fantasies. Good fortune is hurtling its way towards you, Cancer. Unfortunately, you'll discover it in the form of a penny punching through your skull at terminal velocity. For Leo, you'll find that the house is in the seventh moon of Jupiter, so that despite being on a burning plane surrounded by your family and loved ones, you'll soon discover that no matter what, everyone dies alone. It's good news for Virgo, this week, you'll crack open a fortune cookie and discover immense wealth in the form of an E. coli lawsuit. Libra, the stars are spelling out your future, so look up to the sky and then remember you're illiterate. It's time to evaluate your love life, Scorpio. Write down a list of all your negative qualities. Then, when it comes to putting down the positives, don't be too disheartened when all you can list is HIV. Calm down, Sagittarius. Your inner child is screaming, but don't worry, just imagine it's one of your own and ignore it. It's getting mysterious for Capricorn. A person from your past will return to haunt you, which is strange because eight foot seemed more than deep enough at the time. Aquarius, don't devote too much time to fighting your inner demons, lest you run the risk of forgetting all about your outer demons. They can shoot fireballs. Mars and Mercury are in alignment this week, Pisces, so you're going to get fat and die. That's it for this week's horoscopes. I sense something bad about to happen. Huh. Great. Well, uh, uh, I, I can't help noticing, Jake. You yep. seem a little down today. I mean, you're often down, but I, it's, yeah. it's difficult to tell with you whether it's you're a bit more down than usual or whether you're just miserable as always. Can you, could you perhaps think of any reason why I might be a bit more irritable and miserable than usual? Not really. I mean, I've just converted to every religion, so I'm kind of in the in the clouds on my high horse. So yeah, you definitely are. Uh, th just this specific day, anything spring to mind? Um, the death of the queen. Well, not the death of the queen. The funes, yeah, funeral. That is I'm being that is overshadowing it a little bit. Just maybe one day a year, if you could, if you could imagine that. Um, is this the... This isn't the day you have your shave, is it? No. That's not till next week. Okay. Just any, anything you can think of that might be, uh... I suppose in this in this case, forgettable. Um, anything in particular? No, nothing. Not really. Nothing's coming to mind. No. Not, no. Wait, why? Oh, of course. I know your kids, um, Jenny and what was what are they? Called? Ian. Ian. Yeah. Yes, they're off to off Alton Towers today, aren't they? I I heard about this from uh, Darren. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, it's Darren. Yeah, he's. Darren. Uh, well, he I bumped into him anyway. He 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 told uh -huh. me let me know that they're going to Alton Towers, which sounds like they're gonna have a great time. Yeah, that's that's super. 
it's um, yeah. it's my birthday today. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm sure your kids are are celebrating for you at Alton Towers. I'm sure they're having fun in your uh, memory, in your favour, whatever. I don't know. I mean, I I bought the tickets. Did you? Um, and they chose to go with Darren. So... You see, yeah. what you need to do is become uh, like me, Jehovah's Witness, and you don't celebrate your birthday then. I mean, not that you're doing anyway. Well, I don't I mean, you're think, not celebrating yeah, your birthday. I don't birthday. think I need to be Jehovah's Witness not to celebrate my birthday today. So, um, oh, I should have got you a card. Yeah, that would have been nice. If you want, after this, we could always nip down Tesco Express, get some cakes. You can, you can get them for like a quid. I would like that, actually, yeah. You can either get ones with Spider Man on or uh, princess fairy ones. I don't know. They've got like a rice paper image on top. Just, uh, just surprise me. It's fine. I, pr- I appreciate the gesture. Okay. I would get chocolate fingers as well, but I think that'd be stretching it. I want to save some money for the pub later. I'm meeting uh, Darren and a few others. Yeah. Okay. Is uh, is it like a big gathering? Special occasion, or um... oh, we just we just meet there, you know, every every, every week, we just meet yeah. up for drinks. Oh, it's, and... it's weekly. Who? Anyone else going? Uh, just a few people. I didn't think it would be your sort of thing, to be honest. No, what? no, you know, we'd sit around drinking, having fun. You know, you, you don't like that sort of thing, do you? It's not. It's not you. It was once. <sighs> hey. Uh... I think we have a birthday jingle somewhere uh, on yeah. here, probably. I think. Um, uh, is this it? Oh, I thought that was going to be a birthday thing. Uh, well. Yeah, well, I, I appreciate the thought anyway. Mm-hmm. Thanks for considering me for 10 seconds. Hey, tell, I tell you what, if what? I remember next year. I'll arrange a surprise birthday party for you. <laughs> you would do that? Yeah. Oh, no. I've told you about it now. Yeah. Uh, scrap that. Well, that was a nice thought, anyway. Anyway, yeah, we've got some uh, Queen tweets at the moment. We have indeed. So, yeah. yeah, we've been getting tweets all day, emails from you. Hashtag she will rock, rock you or rock you. Yeah. It's uh, not really literate. Yeah, that's 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 trending. Um, uh, we've got from Lindstrom89, at her madge, we'll miss you, love your coins, hashtag YOLO. Well, it's succinct, I guess. Yes. And I suppose you don't really agree with YOLO, do you? Uh, you only live once? No. Uh, I, I believe you live uh, several times. Uh, Is there like a hashtag for that? <laughs> uh, probably not. What else have we got here? Uh, miss you, miss you, gonna miss you, forever in our hearts. That's oh, nice. Oh, that's nice. Uh, always with da angles. Well, I, I'm this, guessing that's this, this one's a bit weird from um, Beryl42. Mm. Death crown forever. Death crown forever. Yeah. I guess, I guess that means that she's dead now forever and she wore a crown. That is odd. We've got oh, uh, Camilla's account has just tweeted at CPB uh, at her madge. I think it's a link. It's a video. It's uh, Camilla riding a horse. Not sure she's mastered this social media thing yet. No, no, no. We've uh, we've also got our reporters down on the streets though at the moment, uh, finding out what the mass is. The great unwashed thing, uh, what they got to say. Uh, yes, yes, we have. So, should we go straight to them? Yes, let's, let's go let's to uh, Donald. Attention, everyone. One, one. AMO, a pug and a mug and a hug. So, it's a very sad time today for the Queen being dead. How, how, how does this make you feel? Um, it's really deeply affected me, actually because we all were a big part of her life. No, she was a big part of our life. I never, I never met her, but I assume that, you know, I was probably, well, no, she... I, I, anyway, I mean, it's a big thing. <laughs> I 
I used to look into her eyes, flip her over and lick her. Uh, the stamp, I mean. I didn't even know she was dead. Is she dead? Next time I stare into those cold, dead eyes, I don't know if I want to lick. I'll probably just leave her dry. Oh, there's a man over there, he's bashing a pheasant. Sir, sir, excuse me, sir. Are you, uh, are you bashing in honour of the Queen? What? <laughs> no, I'm bashing from the tea. So you're not bashing peasant in honour of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II's death? No, I'm hungry and I like to collect beaks. She's buying a stairway to heaven. AMO, shattering the hymen of ignorance. That the Queen is now being loaded into the ground? Yes. Uh, I'm not really sure what we can say. You know, she's... Imagine something being lowered into something else. Yeah. Mm. I, 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 when I die, I don't want to at all. I want to be uh, burnt and then thrown to the Ganges. Yeah. Which religion's that? Remind me, I'm just... I'm a little... No, it's Hindu. So you want to be buried like a Hindu? Or di dispersed um, like a Hindu? Well, hint, buried like a Hindu at first, but then I want my ashes to be retrieved so I can have a Christian burial as well. So would you... I guess, do you want me there with a sieve? In fact, it might, you know, it might be easier to do it the other way around, so be buried first and then a few months later dug up and chucked in and the thrown river. to the river. Yeah. Well, I mean, I've, I've got my own funeral plans. That's nice. Have you, have you? Yes, yes, I have. Thank you for asking. Yeah. I do. Yeah. You've, you've um, got your funeral plans. I've got, I've got. When for? Well, for when I if die. If I'm not busy, I'll... Oh, right. Okay. So you... I can really. never tell with you whether you... doesn't matter. No, it's not, not anytime soon. I don't think. Oh, okay. I just thought that perhaps... Anyway. I've got, I've got a couple of ideas. It depends on the sort of, I suppose, turnout and my financial stability. One of my ideas um, is I'd like to be embalmed fully. Mm -hmm. And not stuffed, but just embalmed really well. And then to recoup some of the cost of the funeral, I can be sat on a chair, and then people can come up and sit on my lap and have their picture taken. Yeah. Five quid for a picture, ten for a key ring. Well, you know what they say, people become more likeable after they're dead. I'm not sure that's a thing people say. Well, you know, like all well, better known, better appreciated. Valuable. Perhaps. Oh, definitely. Yeah. There we yeah, go. That's be... that's probably what I meant. That and likable. I mean, that's that's just one idea. I've got. I've, I have a manifesto with me. I mean, you, look at this. Yeah. You see that? That's. Uh, oh. Yeah. That's my funeral book. That's quite thick. Yeah, I bought it at a bridal store, but you, I've you uh, really have planned this down to a T. I've you? really appropriated it. Yeah. Yeah. What so, music are you going to play out of interest? Um, I'm I mean, not sure. Well, it depends. Again, if it's a cremation, I'm thinking let's keep it light. Burn, baby, burn. Disco inferno. Feeling yeah. hot, hot, hot. Something yeah. like that. Keep the mood up. Remind everyone what a happy person I was, basically. Right. Yeah. Oh, some sort of really dreary, uh, long, prolonged wine, like some sort of avant-garde. Maybe something by Yoko Ono of her just screaming. Okay. I mean, I'm not, I know uh, a few weeks ago when you went through that whole musician phase. You had a few compositions, is there anything you'd like to submit or suggest? It's funny you bring this up because there was actually one I composed for your funeral, or in the event of your death at least. It wasn't necessarily for your funeral, but you could have it played at your funeral. Would you like to give us a sample? I mean, I don't think... It's called Jake's Dead. Okay. How does it go? Well, the lyrics are like, you know, that we'll miss your beard, we'll miss your voice on the radio. Your kids say bye, just in case they didn't get the chance, you know, in the hospital or if they were busy, if they, well, no, if they were... With Darren. With Darren. Yeah. It's like, it, it, my my song is their chance to express themselves after your death okay. to you, even though you're not there. If, if they want it, I mean, they might not, but... Is it a jaunty number? Is it... What sort of genre is it? Jazz. So soft jazz, fusion jazz, yeah, funk soft, jazz, acid yeah. jazz, toxic jazz. Ape jazz, gorilla jazz. It's my own sort of unique branch. Tom it's jazz. Tom jazz. Oh, I've actually called it marmalade jazz because it's got that fruity undertang mm. flavour with those it? chunky peely sound bites. Uh, you'd listen to it while you're eating breakfast before you go to work because if you're in a rush and you need something to listen to that's... Prevent scurvy. Yeah, basically it, it, it turns the event of your death into a breakfast filling. I will, I will be adding this to the uh, burial file. 
it's an option, you know. I'm, yeah. I mean, I think I, ideally, if I could die multiple times, so I could go through each funeral because I've spent a lot of time on this, and really, I only get to pick one. Oh, well, you're welcome to play the song if it's any good. If it's not any good, I'm not playing it because I don't want people to think, oh, Tom wrote that. It's not very good. No, I'm. I'm sure. I'm I mean, sure it's if, very if good. It, if it's yeah, I might release it if it's gonna do well. Could I, could I find it on iTunes? Uh, not yet. Not yet. Very soon though. Okay, still brokering a deal mm. with Apple. Apple. I uh, guess. Are they still around? I guess they are. They are. Is this your Amish side coming through? Well, Apple are still around. Yes. I'm sorry. That's um, that's cruel. I'm mocking your culture. I can't eat apples anyway. They look too much. Whoa! It's oh Oscar. Oscar. What's he doing back here? Uh, You're right, you Oscar. You didn't give your badge back to security, did you? What? He's writing something. Hang on. What's that he's got? I don't know. Is did you see that? It looks like it's got. Os what? Is it beeping? I don't know. Oscar. Come on, buddy. What's up? Oh, hang on. Shake it and start again. I can't read your writing. Your etch sketch skills have just gone down the pot. Come on, buddy. Yeah. Try again. Curly cur. Keep, remember how we do. Yeah? Oh. I have a bomb. You see, it's Oscar, though. I can't take him seriously. Oh, no. I just think, you know, if anyone's going to do suicide bombing, it should be me, really. Wait, what's, what's this about Oscar? Is this an anger thing? Is it religious? You, got, you can't just walk in and say, I have a bomb. Not that you said that. You wrote it. Because you're a mute. <laughs> you can't have your job back. Tom's pretty adept at the ident button. AMO. Merging fact with fiction. There we go. Come no. on. Come on. All right, Oscar, what is it? Do you want, can we do you want your job? Slayer? Can we wrap up now? Because I need to go away and pray. And he's writing again. That's better. Okay. Oh. Oh, that's not. Probably be another episode.